Welcome back to the Hot Six Cups, Group B. We're going into our final match of the day. And it's going to be between Rain and TY, a PBT here. The only match we haven't seen yet today is the match between these two, and I'm excited to see it. Yep, I'm very, very excited to see it. TY, we did see TY go down to SOS, and I'm sure Rain got a good look at that in case he ended up having to play TY. Yeah. So he's got a good, kind of got an idea of what TY is going to be playing like. And it should be a pretty interesting match, actually. Yeah. I feel like TY had the opportunity to beat SOS. It was a bit of a, a close series, you know. A, a little bit of a wonky long. series, and that, especially that last game on Nimbus. He decided to two rack. So weird. So old school. Nearly kind of worked in a way. Kind of. But I think he just was not expecting that Stargate for the third time in a row. Yeah. But I don't think he's going to try that build again. I'm really curious to see what the first map is, and it might set the tempo here. All right, Merrick around. All right, so I'm definitely giving the advantage to TY on this map, no doubt about that. But we'll have to see if he's going to capitalize on it. We did see him play against SOS on this map as well. By the way, I love the shirt that he's wearing now versus the, sh the shirt he was wearing earlier. It's got that same KT logo, but... Is this more of a jumper or something? Yeah, something like that, man. Maybe he's just wearing the patch. He's like, just wearing a patch. I'm keeping it casual. I mean, I'm representing KT, but yeah. I'm keeping it cash. No, I like it. He looks cool in that. He looks good. I um, dig it for sure. You know, it's sad that one of these two players is not moving on. I think a lot of people would love to see a Terran, but I think an equal number of people would love to see Rain move on. This is his tournament. He yeah. won last year. He did win last year. He's He's the weird. defending champion. Can he beat this Terran, T.Y.? We're going to find out right here, right now. This is Group B. Spoiler alert, we already saw the name. He <laughs> is... My Insanity Rain. Player of SKT for many years. Many years until he made the switch. Wanted to go international, make the big bucks. The big monies. The big cash roller. And there's his victory from yep. last year. If you guys come down to see, you can see pictures of every champion there's ever been. The wall is coated. Tournament. There's so many of them. Down here to the top right, or up here, I should say, in the blue. Yeah. KT Roaster TY. Went down to SOS, but had a good fight, Trude. A little bit of a interesting style, very aggressive style, kind of gimmicky. Maybe has a, a weakness bit, yeah. to Stargate. We'll have to wait and see what Rain has planned for him on this map. I feel like he will have to, Rain will have to set the tempo. Terran is very comfortable on this map. I would Stargate for sure on this map because I think Blink is really weak. There's not a lot of Blink potential on this map. There's a few things you can do. The natural is kind of exposed, but uh, I just don't really like it that much. Yeah, on this, map. this is much less of a Blink map, I feel as well. I, I do like Stargate on this map a lot. CC first is a great choice. Yeah, I mean, on a map like this, and especially from what we saw from TY in the last match, I mean, he's going he's going two racks aggression here and crazy stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, this is going to set the tempo in a different style. He's going to go for a more of an eco sort of game, which I like a lot, and especially against a player like Rain, who is going to play a more defensive style, and he plays it very well. So if you guys look at the uh, the CG at the bottom of the screen, you can see that uh, TY did beat Rain in the qualifiers. And he won 2-1. Yeah. This is what they were talking about in that interview earlier. And that lets you guys know, for those of you guys who didn't know, Rain was not invited just because he won last year. He had to qualify just like everyone else. Yeah, he did. And, uh, you know, it's just so funny that the two players who faced each other in the qualifier got randomly seated into the same group. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, that isn't it? That hardly ever happens. Uh, and... That, that definitely gives some extra added level of confidence to T.O., I would say, in this matchup specifically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a bit different when he played against SOS. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I've already done this before. You know, I can do this. This is I absolutely I can do cool. this. I've that done it. He has done it before. He knows how Rain plays probably more than anything else, especially after that best of three. But, I mean, he just got back from home story, man, and this is the last game of the day. He's, he's kind of had to go through the gauntlet. I, and he has been looking tired this whole time, but he's still playing, playing so well. Yeah. Let's just, let's see. I, I like to see him keep the gimmick side. I think a drop here and then is okay. I, do, I don't want any, I don't want any two rags, so I don't want any proxy siege tanks. Rather just see, you know, for the for the most part, straight up play. Yeah. There's that Stargate. It's going to be in the main base. Wouldn't it be great if we saw no gases, a marine SCV all in? 
Do you remember those? Those yeah, were the I great do. days. I used to love those days so much. And we still see no gas is added, by the way. Are you talking about... Finally. Do you remember the, uh, the even more specific version of that, the supply drop all-in? Not Where? that specific, but in general, like, when, like, Terran would hide, like, five racks. Oh, you mean, like, the five racks one, yeah. Like, and you just pull, like, every SCV from two saturated lines and just go for this crazy all -in. That was super old school. Um, there was a build where you could do a push with three barracks. I think it was three barracks, so it was either two or three. Um, so, so long ago. And you would skip a depot and just do a call down supply, and you would get so many Marines, and you would get that extra money from not building the depot. Uh -huh. You'd pull your SCVs, and it was like basically impossible to stop. <laughs> the only way I found to stop it was to build a three pile wall at the top of my ramp. Oh, that <laughs> when is. When I saw it coming. That is old school, man. It only worked because the maps were much smaller back then. Yeah, yeah. We're talking Metalopolis era. We're talking Dream Pool. We're talking the Dream Pool era. It's back, man. You could do that again. Just go for it. I should just switch to Terran and try it a few times. <laughs> Stim on the way already, and Oracle is out, so he did choose the Stargate tech, something we didn't mention, but yeah. more than enough Marines to kind of defend the natural. Still a f few more to go before the main is completely secured. He should be absolutely fine, though. Oracle will... I, I very much doubt Oracle will find many kills, if any. I get it, like maybe two or three, but it's, it's going to be tough to get more than that. Here we go. He's going to run into the Marines. His reaction is good. Which is pass. Wants to find a, a building structure. He can maybe pick off an SCV doing that. Like, for example, this factory. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's going to be very careful here. Good and zoning by TY. Yeah, no kills so far. So very, very solid start for TY here. Deflecting the harassment. Very even economy. Marines turn on their Goss rifles. But two go down. <laughs> nice micro there. Very cute. Didn't lose anything but shields really on that Oracle. A super fast bay here. He wants to transition to Colossi ASAP. Yeah, this is definitely the map to do that on. I like this build. Yeah, you want to be defensive. You want to get out those observers ASAP and cover that, that massive airspace around your main base, which is going to be the uh, the key place that TY is going to be looking to drop. It is such an accessible place to go yeah. in these positions. Forge as well pretty early on. Right so we're away. Gonna, yeah, you're going to see some pretty early... Uh, Armor. So much energy on that mothership core, he's going to have no problem deflecting this. Yeah. TY just wants to begin that pressure, trigger that photon overcharge. You know, if there's any mistakes made, he has stim, so. He, he can, can really always, if there's that. like nothing to defend as well, like he can't just stim in and focus down probes. We have seen that before. Yeah. Let's see if he decides to do that. Hmm. Stim is 13 seconds away, as you can see here. Okay. Very just kind of beat by that SCV. Yeah. <laughs> SCV triggers it. The nerves are real. But Rain will be safe. Probably until a Colossi comes out at this point. Yeah, the point. Colossus is going to pop out after the, the charge is, is down. Mm -hmm. He should be totally fine. Ooh, I like the Photon, uh, photon Cannon, sorry. Very, Why very not? nice. No, I think it's a great idea for these positions. Because look, would a mind fall up? He knows TY so well. He knows him so well. He's seen TY do this in the last series. And he, he has. has one in each base. He will be immune to this, essentially. He's probably also, you know, played against this a lot. You know, when they played in the qualifiers, perhaps he was doing something like this. Yeah, no doubt about that. And here we go. Into the main base he's going to go. We already have an observer in position as well, if a cannon was not enough. I mean, he's, he's, he could not be safer. Same time. Oh, yeah, that one's not going to last. Oh. Second one will get one shot. Yeah. Down it goes there. Photon overcharge activated as well as uh, Colossi defending against these Marines. I'm not sure about that overcharge on the, in the main, though. Did, did it hit the main, right? That no, no, that was the natural. Oh, yeah, it Are was you the sure? main. Okay, it was the main. That's yeah. that's a bit odd. I thought it was going to be the natural because that's where the Marines were I guess from. he was scared maybe the Marines were just going to pick up and jump to the main while the Colossus was at the natural. Hmm. I don't know. That was, that was a bit unexpected. Oh, well. But uh, we see another Immortal actually coming out here uh, for some added safety as he transitions out. Okay. Of Colossi right in so the storm. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to force out the Vikings. He's going to he's gonna hopefully force out uh, a decent Viking count while he goes straight into storm here. It'll give him the tech advantage because there's gonna, not going to be any ghosts anytime soon. Third base finally goes down for TY as well. Pretty late third base. Yeah. From what we saw in the previous games we here. We haven't seen this one Colossus build in a really long time. He's even faking here. I think it's a very, very smart build. Yeah, nobody really does this build anymore. We're seeing old strategies come back. Quite a bit yeah. at the end of this year. Yeah. Another nice up to catch on Oh, this wow. If it actually gets it. Oh, beautiful. Really nicely done there. Very well done. Dropping any sort of counter attack. 
Protecting his third, and he's also uh, denied the Oracle with that Viking, too. And he scouts the Templar. He knows exactly what's up here. Uh, Armory has started, so I doubt we're going to see any sort of all in here, but we're going to see a lot of pressure yeah. naturally because he knows he there's knows only, only one Colossus. One Colossus and the Swarm isn't done yet. Plus, he knows he used those overcharges earlier on. He's only got one. And there it goes, trying to target that Colossus down, getting so much damage on these Zelts, and once they're gone, there's nothing left to buffer. Yeah, there's not much to buffer whatsoever here. Here come more Vikings. Oh, he's got to be careful there. He's taking a little too much damage. That Immortal was pretty helpful there as well. Yeah, like very, that. very tanky. But he's got a third base up now, and he's got triple mules very, very shortly. He's, he doesn't have it quite yet, but he's about to. And he's got a Harvester Lee in this matchup. That's, that's pretty un, uh, unusual. It's pretty rare. Yeah, Storm. Doesn't hit much. Damage, but yeah, not, not a lot. Ghost Academy doesn't seem to be on its way just yet. It's going to stay in and keep applying pressure just with Medivac Fire. Just for now. I mean, it's still a very, very small army for rain. He still hasn't got a third base down either, so he's kind of pressed for time here. Yeah. Zealot swinging around the bottom. There's two of them. Let's see how much damage they have done. This gets spotted, unfortunately. Yeah. T.Y. really wants to get some damage done here. He's, he's hard pressed to, to keep that Protoss off his back while he's yeah. getting that third base saturated. This army is way too small to be out of the map. He's got to be very, very careful here. If we yeah. see if we see a wraparound from the bottom forces, we could see this these Templar as well as the Colossi picked off yeah, here. Yeah, when you have two armies coming from two sides like that, the Colossi and the High Templar, their AOE damage isn't Ooh. as useful. Oh! Storm. Poor Zealot. Traitorous Storm. Here comes that wraparound you were talking about, but he doesn't want to go this way. No, not like this. Not like this. Not like this! Oh, and he gets out alive here. Nice little counterattack. He might want to put a bunker there at some point. Man, I'm really liking TY's position. He's got 2-2 two, two on the way. Uh, it's going to be a full set of upgrades ahead. He's got well, here we go. on the way. The all-in has begun. It is actually going to be a complete all-in from Rain here. He's going to go for that Storm charge a lot of timing here with plus two armor. Yeah, he wants to kill that third. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. Ghosts, there's only one out right now. Uzel, it's already going down a decent storm here, killing a medevac. Ooh, nice Widow Mines as well. Yeah. The base is evacuated. He's already lifted. He can't uh, actually use the SMBs. EMP. Yeah. Oh, that Widow Mines also close to doing some more damage. Doesn't get it off. Three more Templar, a lot more oh, storms here. Oh, that storm oh, is beautiful. So he hits the retreating much. SCBs. So much damage here. And this drop gets deflected, and there's two zealots. Yeah, chargers are just too good against these sort of drops. And a very awkward position here, but not many storms left. Full there's, rain. There's still, yeah, and there's still no third base for him. And the the command center could just land back down eventually, sending units home to defend. It's gonna actually go for a bigger drop. Didn't expect that, but I don't think rain will either necessarily. Yeah, well, that's a huge drop here, and it, two two was just about to finish as well. He can snipe a nexus pretty damn it's fast. It's a great like timing this. because rain can't punish him by attacking while these units are gone because he's walking home. And he's walking the wrong direction. He's going down to the third base. So this works out oh, really well for him here. Here we go. So much infrastructure to rip apart right now. Those zealots are not going to be able to do almost anything. Sim City is not going to work. It's not going to help him out here. <laughs> not That's at sure. all. These zealots are going to get butchered here. High Templar coming back. None of them with enough energy. Oh my god. He can snipe down the Nexus as well. And he is going to. Targeting it down now as well as going for the Templar. Yeah, going for the Templar. Gets one. And he might even be able to get that Bay on his way out. He gets it and gets out. Uh, Storm's going down, trying to kill those, but not enough. Meanwhile, units are heading over towards that third base. Yeah, if he gets a great position with these Widow Mines as well, it's going to be huge, 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 huge. Oh, look at that positioning. Four Widow Mines, practically a field, oh. and he gets the Colossus as well. Oh, man. Another Zealot falls. Things are looking so good. This Templar looks like they're going to go out in the map and maybe even get sniped as well. Oh, horrible position here. Has to morph Archons as well. Rain has to make the move out now. He cannot be contained like this. Archon eats a shot even there from the Widow Mines. There's barely any, any air for these for these medivacs either. That Archon is down to like 10 hit points. Yeah. And a huge supply lead for TY at this point. 40 supply lead. Warpins for the counterattack at the third of TY's, but TY already in position here. That base, that third base, has not been mining this whole time for Rain. He's just now getting probes over there, and he's got no main nexus. His economy is terrible. Triple the economy right now for, for TY in mineral income is what he's got. And he knows that he doesn't have to worry about Colossi at all either, so he can just keep making medevacs because yep. that bay was killed. It was indeed. Really nicely done there. Deflects. 
the counter attack, which could have done quite a lot of economic damage here. But here we go. Rain going to go for one last push here. EMPs and window mines are important right now. And I think he has to make it happen, or it's simply going to be too late. So many ghosts here. Great snipes! snipes! Oh. On point. And look at that EMP on those immortals as well. SD's coming offline to secure the defense. GG, TY takes game one, 516 APM there at the end of that fight. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but yeah, very impressive game from TY. He knew he had to just apply pressure on this map, deny mining from the third base, take his own third, and just simply react to the army composition of Rain. I'm sure, I'm sure Rain isn't feeling too bad about that loss. It is a very hard map for Protoss, and I'm sure we're going to see a much better map for him in the next game. Now that drop that he didn't expect was devastating. He was already a bit behind, but that drop was like the nail in the coffin. His units went to the third base because that's where he expected that attack to be. Yep. SimCity worked against him, like you said. All those high tempo that he had didn't have enough energy for storms. And he lost several of them as well. And the drops got away. Yeah. Losing yep. a Nexus and one of your critical techs. Not the best SimCity against the Terran. No. Bit of a cluttered, clogged base there. T.Y. and Rain looking very focused here. Rain has to win this game or he is out of the tournament. The tournament he won last year. Yeah. Let's see what the map pick is. Such an important moment here. We're about to find out. I would say Sage on. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. A, a great map for Protoss. And it's, we'll have to wait and see. It's how a good map for Protoss and it's a good map for Rain's style, you know? Yeah. He defends his style. If he plays similar to like how Hero plays, for instance, is Hero plays this map so well, I think he plays it the best. With his counter attack style, with War Prisms, with Blink Stalkers. If he does that, keeps TY from, from kind of getting that momentum with his aggression, with his multitasking and his drops, I think Rain would be in a very good position once he gets to free base. I think we're going to see something aggressive out of TY. I think maybe a proxy, maybe even a, a Widow Mine or Hellion drop. Yep. Off one base early on, gas for something like that. I don't think he wants to play straight up against Rain on this map. And even if he loses it, he has the map pick for game three, which will most likely be Nimbus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rain needs a win here. Otherwise, TY is moving on to the round of eight. Bottom right in the blue, My Insanity, former SKT, the champion of last year. My Insanity Rain. The top left, his opponent, one win away from the round of eight. KT Roaster, TY. What do you have planned, TY? What are you thinking on this map? He's definitely got a pretty sick plan. I can guarantee you that. Well, we saw last game. He can play a very, very solid macro game if he decides to. If he wants to, he might just go CC first again. That would be unexpected. It and would that, be. And that's part of why it's strong, but I'm telling you, man, use <laughs> the gas first. The gas first. I know, I just, I knew it. I had this feeling in my bones, it's going to be like one of these drops. The Widowmine the drop. Burns. You knew it, Wolf. Or the Hellion drop. Because that's how T.Y. likes to play on a map like this, especially when he's up in a series. Mm -hmm. Always cheese your opponent on your opponent's map pick. This isn't really a cheese, but it's a very aggressive strategy that has a lot of risk involved. It has a lot of risk. It has it's a lot of It's not a cheese, but you know, it's, 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 a, it's a drop play. It's a gas first. It's a it highly, highly aggressive opening. Yeah. yeah. It can transition out, but uh, yeah, he has to find damage with this. He cannot simply do this kind of build and get deflected and play a normal game. If he gets deflected, he most likely will lose the game. I think we'll probably see that similar style he tried against SOS. That didn't end up really working, unfortunately, because of the uh, proxy Stargate. And funnily enough, that's exactly what we're going to see from Rain as well. Huh. This is just too perfect. Rain, well played, sir. He, re he read TY just like I did. He knew. He knew. And he's going to he's gonna do this build. Very unlikely to be scouted. There's going to be no Reaper involved here. Yep, no Reaper, just Marines. You know, the Marines might be out, might want to scout, but uh, I think they probably will just stay in front there and try to deny any sort of scouting from a probe. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. I might have spoke too soon. SCV moves out. Yeah, but he's 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 too he's too far away and he's too soon to see even a Stargate anyways. It's too soon. Yeah. Any second here. Stargate okay, will go he down. Sends a Marine and yep, stays at the top of the ramp, just like you thought. Yeah. We will see the probe try and go in, maybe scout a little bit. Give uh maybe give TY the impression that 
you know, playing a bit of a normal game here. Yeah. The SCV will see that there is one less pylon than it should be in the main base, which kind of could lead him to believe there will be a proxy. Yeah, that might alter the way he plays it. Remember last time, actually, he left the Widowmine at home. Um, but yeah. the Stalkers and the Zealots gave him a problem. So yeah. let's see how that plays out this time. This time, he probably want to put it above his command center. Again, like he did last time, but it will be in the uh, mineral patch, which will be a lot better. Yeah. This, yeah, this is a different position for that satellite dish to block it. You can also put it above, like, the refinery, which will also hide it. Bunker here gets spotted, so his, the gig is up. He knows what's up. Very cute. Sticks around too long, but uh, he knows what build he's up against now. Yep, he knows exactly what's going Did on. Did he make the Widowmine? Actually, I, I didn't see the production tab for that moment. Uh, I don't think he did, actually. I didn't see it. I don't know if he's making anything right now. I mean, he's, he's not, actually. I know that for sure. He's supply blocked. <laughs> that uh, that could not actually producing. be a huge problem here. Okay, he made one Widowmine already. He made one already? Yeah. Okay. And, but here comes the Oracle. Will that Oracle actually get uh, picked off by that Wooded Mine? Is the next question. We need to see exactly where it is. There it is. Okay, above right the CC. Right satellite dish again. Yeah, so it's going to be, be baited out by the Marines. He knows what kind of build it is, so he might change his mind, and he does. He's like, okay, you have that Fast Factory. I saw this against SOS. You have Wooded Mines in your main base, <laughs> hidden. So I'm going to just chill out. And I think this is very smart by my reign. There's still a lot of use for this Oracle. He can. Scout a lot, he can find kills later on. Yeah. Twilight halfway uh, done at this point, and I think that a you know, blink follow up to this is so good because when you're up against this build, this build does two things to a Terran player. It cripples their economy because they're teching instead of building an economy. It also makes their army count weak. You have this cool army that's really technical and, and quite quite good at doing one specific thing and that's dropping but when it doesn't do that it's just kind of sitting around or when it drops and it's a failed drop and you lose all your units the blink counterattack can do so much damage it can give you so much map control mm. and if you're expecting drops blink's going to be handy anyways so I, I like this follow up I think it's actually the best way especially on this map of all maps to follow up knowing that your opponent's doing this that's why TY TY knows it too that's why he's going to make a siege tank here yeah this is cute I like this a lot he finds the pylon as well so he knows something is up no one just puts a pylon there for no reason yeah. He's gonna take it down. Probably looking for that Stargate too. Yeah. Oh, definitely looking for that Stargate. I think he'll find it actually. Well, no. Sends his Marines back the wrong way. Yeah, he's gonna be careful though. He doesn't want to be out in the map too much because he knows there could be a timing on this way. He doesn't know what kind of timing either. But it's a very, very committed timing. We see no probe production now. Probe stopped at about 18 on minerals. So this is very, very all in from Rain. He wants to finish the job. But there's a tank out now, which is gonna do so much work. I would love to see. A bunker at the bottom of this ramp. It would protect this tank so much. I'm so very worried for TY actually because he's moving out. Oh, that pylon just goodness. that pylon just went up here. He got canceled for a second, but he's moving it in. And this pylon is also still active. Mm. All right. Oh god. Yeah. This is this this is actually maybe about to be a smackdown. This could very well be. We're gonna see a blink on this tank, and yep. it's gonna die. And we, we could very well see GG. From That's here. probably just game. He he had. We thought he knew, but oh. he absolutely did not. He absolutely had no oh, idea. Oh, oh, oh. Scans, he he's gonna and GG. he's going to GG. Yeah. Oh, man. Just unlucky. If he had stayed in his base, made more bunkers, and made more siege tanks, he would have been completely he, he fine. He just didn't know. I actually, I thought he knew. I had confidence that he knew, but well. I was wrong. He absolutely had no idea. Envision going to help out a lot against these Widowmines. GG. GG. Well played from Rain. Great follow-up. Knew exactly what he had to do in an unfortunate move out from TY. Yeah, he wanted that Stargate. You know, he got that's actually kind of a greedy move out at this stage of the game without the scan. If you scan and then and then, then you move and you see nothing and then you move out, I think that's okay. But he scanned after, he did it in the wrong order. Uh, yeah. That was that, that was an unfortunate game there for Ty. But we're gonna go to game three. It's gonna is, be Ty's map. Yeah, probably Nimbus. We saw him pick Nimbus already. There's he might change it up though. Yeah, he, he could change it up, but I mean. Nimbus is just such a great map for Terran. Like, why would you really want to? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Very solid win. Rain taking the win on his map. Stays in it one, one game longer. We're seeing a lot of two ones today now. Wolf. Yeah. Things have changed. Things have changed a lot since yesterday. Poor Sue, man. He's the only one who got two would twice. <laughs> uh. I'm so sad for Sue. Now we have that emotional song again. But here we go. Nimbus. Nimbus.
the third and final map of today. It will be the last map, it will be the siding map. Will we see a Protoss, Mind Sandy's Rain, or TY moving on to the round of eight? TY, the underdog, Rain, arguably one of the favorites. And I think most people would have picked him and Sue to advance today. Absolutely, that's what I was thinking. We have TY advance, he will advance along with Marine King and in Innovation to be the third Terran in the round of eight. That is just crazy. That would be a 100% Terran advance rate. Yeah, it would be. Something we would not be expecting. All right, guys, the final match here. Hot Six Cup Group B. Will we see Rain or will we see TY in the round of eight? To the bottom left in red for my insanity. Yeah. My insanity rain. So far, been doing a, a decent job, but just not quite able to crack it. And down to the bottom right in yeah. teal. KT roster TY. TY not Ty. <laughs> he can be Ty, in my opinion. Not like my laundry detergent. <laughs> Although I guess that's called Tide in English, but I haven't, <laughs> All right. I haven't used it in some All years. Right, mate. <laughs> um. But yeah, TY taking uh, a bit of an unfortunate loss there. Let's see if it affects his mentality. How do you like these positions? Uh, I think they're pretty good for... I think this is probably much better for Rain. Yeah, because they're pretty good for Rain because the drops have to go over land to go to, to go hit the, the natural. They have to go pretty far. They have to swing around. Yeah, it's not the most ideal position. Let's just say that. Uh, it's not. It's, I mean, it's not horrible either for TY, but... He will have a little bit of a harder time getting those drops into the to the natural and to the main. Well, typical Reaper expand here coming out for TY. Yep. That's all you need on this map. It's a very, very safe map. Uh, very surprised for any sort of other build unless it's going to be even greedier than that with a CC first or a one rack CC, which yep. we saw Marine King do. So, very standard openings for both players. They cannot afford to lose this game. Playing it as safe as possible. Well, uh, I think Rain, I think he's just going to go for Forge Robo. Like, he used to always do every game before people figured out that Oracles were actually not a cheese, but actually a standard opening. I think we're going to see him go for just a Robo into a Forge, just mm -hmm. get his Econ going with his upgrades. I don't think we're going to see him do Blink or an Oracle. I really don't think so. I, I, I feel like we could see S Phoenix. Phoenix? I'd love to see Phoenix, actually. Saw a bit of that yesterday. That's that's kind of my dream for this matchup in this map. But uh, dreams do come true. They do. Uh, Oracle would also be good in this map. You can see where that pylon is actually, which could very well be for a Stargate. No, well, there goes the CC. And yeah, that pylon does look pretty suspect. <laughs> it does look pretty sus, mate. Let's see. It's about time. Could be a Stargate. Reaper sees the probe but does not act. Nope, just gonna go scout first. Going straight into the mothership core. I'm getting a later se uh, second guess. Is that probe gonna do? So uh oh. Ooh, okay, so maybe so we're gonna see an oracle. Day of here. oracles today, man. Everyone wants to go oracles against Ty. Yeah. Don't blame him for it. No, it has done us a lot of great work here. Mothership core gonna try and zone out. Does zone out the uh, reaper. He doesn't want to commit to that. Nope. Well, that's very unlikely to be scouted, and it's in a really good spot for TY's spawning location. It's a bit late, though, the Stargate. Very late. He's committed actually a lot to uh, Stalker. And he, he didn't warp. rush it. He got, yeah, Stalker, Warp Gate, and... Um, mm, it will be a very court. delayed, yeah. Actually, he might even actually go for it now. It looks like he's pulling the probe back, so he's changed his mind. He we'll went, be going for the Robo. He went Robo, as I predicted. That's, that's odd. It's almost like he had second thoughts. Yeah, it looks like he was planning something, but, I mean, that pile in there will always be useful. Yeah. It'll always have its 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 use for especially counterattacking the third base when it's finally there. And that guy will always not be useful. He's constantly fixing things and taking them apart all game long. Yeah. That thing down there, that little doodad, will never be useful. Yeah. Oh, this Reaper gets the scout off though. It's gonna see everything actually. Where exactly is the uh, the Reaper? We, uh, it's, it's, it's right, it's right, right, right past right. it. Yeah, you already yeah, saw yeah, it. Yeah. It was right next to that silly doodad that just likes to distract people. Oh yeah, yeah. I was completely distracted when you were talking about it. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, gets one. Sees everything. Yeah, not too bad. From here, I, I wonder if we are going to see that sort of like observers into. Oh, we're going to see an immortal. Oh. oh, I didn't expect this. So, another very aggressive sort of play from Rain. 
you know what? This this is kind of uh, reminiscent of Myungshik's game versus TY on this very same map. Perhaps we see some uh, some inspiration from that match. Yeah. We saw an exact, an exact replica, basically, of this build. Um, he ended up going into DTs and a bunch of other craziness later on as the game didn't didn't go his way, but he's still Ooh, almost... Finding won. this pylon is very important as well. That's a very, very key pylon for this kind of push. Yeah, it, and and not only because it it uh, gives warping points, but also because it provides supply. 100 minerals is, is tough to afford, actually, when you're doing such a very specific timing attack like this. Yeah. Force field should easily shut this down. Completely shuts it down. Gives him a little bit more time here. Three more gateways on the way as well. As well as more sentries here. We're going to see this game come to a head very, very quickly. Yep. And he still doesn't know what's up, what he's up against. He does now. now. He does. And the, the force fields were not too good here. Yeah, that actually, that's not good for, for Rain, even though he got those Marines there, because yeah. he showed his hand with that. He did show his hand. He was going, he was hoping to get rid of all the bio yeah. there. If you kill everything, it doesn't matter Yeah. Uh, that he knows. But if you only kill a little bit. Mm. He, he, he kind of messed it up here. And Bunkers went down. There's right. more than enough bio to kind of deflect this initially. This is one of the most fun ways to end a night of StarCraft and Blade. <laughs> he blocks with pylons. Oh, what? And Box with the probe as well, oh. getting a few more shots off of those stalkers there. <laughs> and that reactor is exposed. All he needs is the mothership core for yeah, vision. Two bunkers and there. And in fact, that bunker is going to be exposed too. You know what? Siege tank oh, on the way. Oh, I like this a lot as well. I think TY can hold this pretty convincingly, actually. I'm surprised he's not going for the reactor. I'm really surprised. That would cut so much marine production down. One more bunker, good. Just stand on the bottom there, so he cannot run by. And he should be in a very, very comfortable position here. This is still a very scary push, mind you. This oh, is, yeah. This is not over by any means. Not Time warp goes all. down. Force fields go down as well. He's got so many more force fields where those came from. And this bio army has fallen so, Siege so quickly. Siege tank through. Siege tank on the sentries here. Doing so much damage. Rain has to pull back here. He has to. I think if one more CJ gets out in time, or Stim finishes in time, he can hold this. The cool thing about this build is that there's so many SCVs off the line constantly that the Protoss player actually has an economic advantage. Uh, well, actually, he doesn't have as many this time as we saw him in his defense against Myungshik, but here they come. With all these SCVs off the line, the Pros actually has the better economy, and if he keeps picking things off like this, you know, maybe eventually he can wear his way through. A bit surprised he's not continuing to make Immortals, uh, because I think that's what he's going to need if he actually thinks this is going to win the game. Well, he started I think, pro I think production. It's just <sighs> With pro production, he might just want to be transitioning from this point, because he knows he cannot break this at all. Ooh, that hurts to lose that Observer. Yeah, well, he already knows there's two tanks, three bunkers there. There's no way he's breaking that. He is transitioning completely. Forge. Twilight. And a bay. Ooh, and a bay. Sorry, not a Twilight. Oh, yeah. I had sure you said it, and I just was thinking I must not miss the Twilight, but yeah. No. Yeah, no Twilight here. And I mean, I, I'm really liking the position here for TY. Though he is behind, he has committed a lot of defense to this. He can transition pretty well. But I mean, if Colossi gets out, if upgrades start, if we see an armor finish by the time anything happens, like, yeah, Rain is not going to be in a horrible position here. Let's see. Um, because. I don't know, man. He needs. I, I almost feel like Rain needs a third base or something. The bunkers are all going to salvage, and TY... In fact, I'm surprised TY hasn't started a third command center already. Yeah, I kind of... Oh, oh he has. Okay, he has. Okay. Because um, I feel like he's just... He's leagues ahead. If he gets that up, he's got the upgrades he needs. He's got a good army comp. Yeah, I feel... Yeah, well, I, I think Rain just really wants to get to uh, Colossi ASAP to deal with these, like, this, this kind of army. He needs to get it. Uh, he wants to deal with these tanks. He wants to deal with this bio. Oh, I think I know what he might do. He might wait for the move out, try to do damage to the recall. Meanwhile, he's going to do a harass uh, job over here with some zealots. Yeah. But he's got that mothership core. And the way he's positioned his units, I almost feel like he's just waiting for a recall. Nope. Sorry, not going to Possibly. Get that to it. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of just trying to deny the third if it goes down anytime soon. And another mind drop. Classic. Classic play from TY here. There is a cannon in every base though, so not going to do too much. Yep. Uh, Blink, Colossi range, armor, and Colossus on the way. So Rain is transitioned pretty nicely here. Let's he see. doesn't want to get the third too soon because he knows there's going to be aggression from TY. I just feel like he's in a position where, because of his his pressure, hold that thought. Uh, it's going to get a shot. Oh, so close. Because of the pressure again. he's put on here, I almost feel like he just. 
you know, and, and the way his guys use position, I, I don't even think a third base could be easily contested by TY right now. And he can't, he wouldn't be, it would be tough for him to scout it. So, yeah, now it's coming up. I, I think he could have taken it earlier, to be honest. But as it is now, it's going to be up. I'm just concerned because if he takes it earlier, he can use the, the Nexus Cannon on it to help defend it. But yep. if it's later, it's not ready, then maybe a cancel can happen. Uh, things true. get a bit, a, bit, a bit more iffy. Yeah. Um, he was investing a lot in tech and upgrades, though, so he, he might not have had exactly enough money. He, he really needs to get Class I, Class I range out because there is tanks, there is mines, and there is bios. Like, he, he's got a lot to worry about. Any sort of timing can do a lot of work here as a response to an immortal all in. Did TY actually see the base? I'm not sure. He's moving out just the same. I, I think he did see the base, actually. He saw it with the medivac before. I think it got sniped. This tank is stuck, actually. He's yeah, that's really unfortunate because he does not want to lift up a reactor unit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he just didn't see it. It was like, uh, just kind of stuck on its own. Bunker even here for safety. This isn't going to do much for, uh, for rain. Although, perhaps in the main base he could find something. In fact, the army is turning around. The army's actually in real, both armies in really awkward positions here, but rain has definitely the stronger army at this point. Yeah. Zealot's getting a lot of damage done here. Huge damage and a huge drop with tank support here. Those it's tanks can only hit, like, the cannon. That's so far away. Yeah, and we're just still seeing a counterattack from Rain, so we're going to see a bit of a base trade, a bit of an eco swap here. Just like before. Yep. They're going to be trading each other's. But it, I think it's going to be a bit of a hard... Oh, no. Well, a bit of a hard... I want to uh, give the edge to Rain. In. Yeah, Rain is Look definitely ahead. He gets all these units for free. He does, indeed. He can blink in as well. He can actually siege this base. GG, G -G -G TY! Gives it up. He knows he can't come back. The game is over. Wow, that just completely ended abruptly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking with that big commitment to the drop. A few drops are okay, but yeah. he got way too many units. He didn't know where the Portos army was, and he, he just, he just, I don't know. He, I could just see in his play like that siege up. I'm like, what are you thinking? Like, you think this is the angle to attack with that many units well, with the siege tank if, on the ground? It would have been good if Rain's army was in his base, but. They kind of just pass each other in the middle of the map without seeing each other. I think he really expected Rain's army to be at his third base. Yeah, exactly. If his army is at the third base, then he's, his natural is so exposed, he has to walk back, he can escape easily. He's got the siege tank to help bolster. But he didn't know where the army was, and he took a huge risk. And we saw games like this already earlier today. Exactly. We already saw a base trade just like this. Yep, so pretty unfortunate sort of positioning for TY at the end of that. Great defense, but just not enough. Not enough. Took a bad sort of a final attack. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Rain's getting through. Rain's getting through. It was a bit of anticlimactic end of the group. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't get to see. Uh, well, TY should make a better showing there at the, at the last moment. Yeah, it was a very, very interesting game. Good transition from Rain there. He knew he couldn't break through, so he had to make the change. So here are our results. SOS got out earlier. He beat TY himself in the same matchup, and Rain was able to advance. Poor Sue, man. He went 0-4. Rough, rough day for Zergs. Rough day for Sue. Everyone was kind of hoping for Sue to do well on this. Every Zerg player out there. Yeah. Because he has done so well in the past, but uh, you know, just not his time of the year, man. And Sulky has provided half the results that Sue has this year. Sulky's the reigning Zerg, so people are, aren't as excited about him, I have to say. Just wait though, because players like Marine King, you know, they practice in the dark. They come in and they do really well. So, yep. Sulky's playing a bit later on in, in the groups, but just just be patient for that Zerg player. He, I feel bad for Sue. Oh yeah, his is tomorrow. In fact, his yeah. is tomorrow, sir. Hang in there, Zergs. We have one more player left. Let's see if Sulky can do it. And I believe we're going to go straight to an interview with Rain, as he did advance. Before we do that, we might take a look at tomorrow's group. Indeed, we will. Okay, this is going to be the interview. How do you feel? Oh, uh, 우선 이렇게 올라가게 됐는데 어 uh, I advanced. 그냥 뭐 원래 저희 조가 다 친한 사람들이여 가지고 서로 서로 But he actually is friends with everyone and his crew. 올라갔지만 yeah. 지난 시즌의 우승자 청현종 선수가 지금 살아서 올라갔는데 so he, you know, it makes him feel a little bit sad as well. Uh, he's he's 
Yeah, you won the last match, but you didn't seem that excited. You didn't get out of the booth. What, what was up with that? Yeah, he says he's really close with all the players. He's really friends with uh, TY as well, really uh, in particular. So he didn't he didn't know what to do. Uh, so he, he just wants to mention again that he feels sorry for TY. It looks like you repaired a lot for the early game. And in the last game, you repaired Immortals. Uh, you know, doing Immortals. T.Y. knows my style. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. 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 맞아요. 이제 그 yeah. 상대 so he style, even though he's not good at it. Uh, and even though he was, and even though he prepared, he didn't feel like he gave him a huge advantage. But you know, this is the type of thing you could do when you have a very obvious style. You know, he's very known for macro play. And sometimes when you mix in cheeses, can really throw your points off. He's really close to all these players, so they know his style really well. When Ty played against SOS. He used pretty much the same strategy, so I was able to kind of notice what sort of abilities he was doing, which goes back to him using the Oracle strats. Yeah. So any last words? This is the last time you'll be playing in 20, uh, 2014. Says, I know for my fans it must be a bit awkward to see me in a new uniform. But it doesn't matter where I belong, it's up to me how I do. And I think he's... He's saying, you know, no matter what team he's on, he really wants to be the best player for his fans. And he asks them to support him and come out of the studio and cheer for him. And you know, at the bottom line, at the end of the day, rain is still rain, no matter what shirt he's wearing. It's true. Uh, say some words to your opponents. You said you're close to all three of them. Su, you're a much better player than what you showed today. And I know you have a, a strong mentality. And recently you played so many amazing games. I think next time you plan, you'll go much further. So, I mean, I think he kind of echoed a lot of our sentiments about a ton of the games that we had today. Yeah, yep. I, I completely agree with uh, Su feeling um, Su is not playing his best game and uh, and I agree with Rain. He he can play a lot better, and I uh, hopefully he will next tournament. And also talking about knowing Ty's style, changing up his own style, uh, you know, just adapting to what he saw Ty versus SOS, yeah, for example. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, you gotta you gotta think about that when you go into these kind of tournaments where you're, you're playing in two best of threes against two different sa of the same race. You're like, well, if I share everything in this, I I have to mix it up. Right. So I mean, just keep in mind. I mean, this is the kind of preparation. This is the kind of player that Rain is. Mm. Uh, playing the game is not just about like a, playing a ladder game, like sitting down at, at the computer, pressing find match, and playing somebody and beating them. There's all sorts of mind games. There's also play that goes into to preparing. Mm -hmm. You know, playing with your practice partners at home, getting ready, mm. uh, studying vods, these sorts of things. We we see it come into fruition. Yeah. And we're not making this stuff up. I mean, you see Rain down there talking about it. So oh, I mean, you, you look at Sue and you he got completely mind games right. in both both series. Uh, he was just I don't know. He was just out of it. I think yeah. He he kind of just needs a break because he has too many second places. <laughs> So we're actually going to take a look uh, of the last matches because uh. um, some people wanted to see that because it was a bit of a it was a bit of a quick ending, right? We had we had this attack go in, comes in here. There's two cannons, which helps defend that siege tank. Barely compensates, it helps takes out a cannon. Now you can see it can't hit anything. Nexus cannon goes down, and then meanwhile over here, there's just way too much. People people want to see the replay again because they thought like. What happened? Well, it, 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 it was, was a so very fast. abrupt ending, yeah. And this is pretty much what makes sense. This is the only army that is left of TY at this base. And yeah. game. Just pausing the replay. He has a huge army lead, but more importantly, he has position. He's camping the production. Plus one isn't done. And and the base is camped. He has, he's going to lose that third CC, but before he loses it, He's gonna be, uh, you know, he's, he's, the units are just gonna walk right into the main base and kill him. Yeah, there's nothing left he can do. He's, his army's completely out of position, and you, yeah, there's like a massive death ball with Colossi and Blinkstalkers. There's, there's nothing you can do with by the tanks time, and bio. Right, by the time he gets back home with that army, uh, the rest of his army that was at home, the units that are coming back, are mm. dead, and then he could just crush the army because it's a small one, it's a drop. Yeah. It's really not an army, it's just a drop. It really just came down to bad positioning or unlucky positioning from TY. He yeah, did he, not see the army. He expected the army to be at the third base, but he wasn't sure. He took a risk. Mm. 
and it didn't pay off. Yep, very, very unfortunate. So let's take a look at how our brackets are shaping up. Marine King will face Rain. What a sick match for round oh, eight. Another Protoss for Marine King. I'm sure he is so happy right now. That's what he said yesterday. Innovation will face off against SOS. We discussed this a little bit earlier. That's going to be a sick match as well. Bit of a rematch from that, that grand finals we had last year. Absolutely. So half the bracket is set. Of course, the rest of the bracket places will be determined tomorrow and on Friday. So be sure to tune in tomorrow. It's going to be at the same time. I'm going to do my thing I do and check what time it is right now. It is 9.40, so three hours and 40 minutes before now is when you want to be there. That's right. Tomorrow and the day after that. You can see the finals are going to be in Dongdae Moon's pla Design Plaza on the 7th on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And be there because we've got a special section for foreigners. You can come in. There's even like a special door for you guys to go to. Yep. It's not going to be hard. Don't be scared if you foreigners can't speak Foreigners are Korean. very, very encouraged to come by and check it out because they got a whole place for them. they got a whole... A whole section Seating. reserved. And tomorrow's matches. Oh my goodness. Oh, Moon we Lane. get to see Sulky, Flash, Classic, and Sky High. Who is that? Sky we haven't High? seen this guy in a while. Darker horse than Marine King, arguably, especially after what we saw from Marine King earlier. He, he, like Sky High has been out of the picture for so long. It's going to be very He's a CJ Brood War player who's been all but gone uh, yeah. for the longest time. Sulky's still teamless. Imagine a teamless player qualifies for a tournament like this. What? Well, hey, man, we don't know what he's been doing. He could be practicing this whole time. And you got Flash and Classic? Oh, my God. Group is sick. I can't wait. Definitely do not miss it. But any closing thoughts, Moonglade? Great day today. A bit unfortunate for the Zergs out there. Sue just not playing his best. Hopefully, Sulky can pick up the slack tomorrow. Yeah. And we have one Zerg in the round of eight. We'll have to wait and see. But that, yeah, pretty good day, nonetheless. Pretty good day overall. Well, guys, we'll see you tomorrow, 6 o'clock, Korean Standard Time. Be there. <laughs>